The next thing we'll take a look at is how polymers are formed. So a polymer is a very long molecule that is made by linking together many smaller molecules called monomers. Now, polymers can be found in nature or they can be produced uh, in the lab or through some industrial processes. So a synthetic polymer, that's a man-made polymer created through a condensation and addition polymerization reaction. So examples of synthetic polymers are polyethylene, Kevlar, PVC, Teflon, polyester, and nylon. Natural polymers, those are just found in nature. Uh, examples of polymers are DNA, carbohydrates, starches, proteins, natural rubber, as well as glucose. So polymers will often have poly in their name, and usually the polymer is named after their, mono, uh, their monomer, and they just have the prefix poly. So let's take a look at one of the ways that a polymer can be formed, and that's through a condensation polymerization reaction. In this type of reaction, two different monomers are combined through multiple condensation reactions to form a polymer. And a reminder that a condensation reaction is where two reactants form one larger product and one smaller product, usually water. So for a condensation reaction to take place, each monomer must have two functional groups attached to each end of the monomer. And we'll see that right here. If we have this right here reacting with this, we're going to be able to join these all together in a long polymer. And this is how this will be done. These two right here, a water will be condensed out of that, water will be condensed out of that, and we get a long chain. And this process can continue to go on and continue to repeat, creating a super long chain of, of, of a polymer. And to represent that, instead of writing that, we can write this as this. We write basically the repeating unit and we put an N, and the N can be a one or a two or whatever uh, to show different types of molecules. Or in a generalized form for a polymer, we just use an N. In addition polymerization, it's a reaction in which many unsaturate, unsaturated monomers units they'll join together through addition reactions. So in case right here we have a bunch of uh, ethene and the ethene molecules, they can join together um, and if we draw the electrons, what we'll see is those electrons will move to the ends of the chain and uh, when they do that they'll pre produce a long chain and these right here, these little uh, where there's electrons together, those are bonds. So they can be uh, formed like this. And this is an example of an addition polymerization reaction. And again, we can just take that repeating unit right there and put an N to indicate that this is a polymer.